You know, one of the most difficult things about rigging, especially when you're just starting out like Bill and Mike are, is detecting the bite of a walleye. Uh, we're using a little sinker here called a walking sinker. It looks something like this. And what we're doing is actually, if my hand is the bottom, we're touching that sinker on the bottom, then lifting it up about six inches. Touching it on the bottom, lifting it up six inches and holding it. And what you're trying to feel is that presence of a walleye. It isn't really a bite like a jig, like a thunk or a, or a tick or anything like that. It's just kind of a weight or a mushiness down there. So part of the problem is, is sometimes when you drop that sinker down, it gets stuck in the mud a little bit, you go to lift it up and you think, oh, there's, there's a fish and you release your line. Well, that's all right when you first start out, but one of the things that you can do is just try and remember not to drag your sinker, just simply lift it up and a lot of times hold it for several seconds, maybe even 10 seconds or so, because if you know you're up off the bottom and feel that weight or mushiness, then you know you've got a bite and can release that. The other thing is if you're just starting to pick it up out of the mud and you feel that little bit of weight, just wait a hair longer. Just Yep, that's a bite and release to it, or doom, the sinker will pop up out of the mud and you'll know it wasn't a bite. So getting to know that bite is kind of one of the more difficult things, but once you master it, you become a real expert like Bill here.